How's it going today, guys? TW After Hours here, back with another video, back at the range. Um, as you can see, I shot my 1911 and my P320. Didn't shoot really my, uh, my little 365 because it's not really a range gun to shoot over heats too quick and stuff like that. Great carry gun, absolutely love it. But anyways, in today's video, I'll be going over a kind of a problem I see in the gun community. And more specifically, buying your first handgun for protection. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there that will say you need to buy a Glock or a SIG or a 1911 or a 380, 9mm, 45, 357, you know, whatever that you need for self-defense. And the problem with that is, guys, is when it comes to your carry gun, your carry defense gun, what you will rely on to grab in the middle of the night or when you're out in public concealed carry or whatever, you need to find a pistol that fits you very, very well. And the reason why I say that is you need to be able to use it in a life or death situation. You need to be able to know when you grab that pistol, you are good with it. Me personally, I am not a Glock fan. I can shoot Gen 5s more, but I am not a Glock fan. I don't like Glocks. I don't like, like, I just don't like the feel in my hand. And so that being said, when I first went after my 320 right here, it's my first gun handgun I ever bought. I shot a whole different bunch. I know I wanted nine millimeter, but I shot a whole bitch, bunch of different types of pistols and pistol manufacturers to find out I like the three, uh, the three P320 compact. If you don't know what caliber you want, go shoot a, a bunch of different calibers. I live near Knoxville. There's two really good gun stores for that. Range USA over in West Knox and Bud's Gun Shop in Range over in Sevierville, you can rent a lane and buy the ammo and just basically switch out guns per that caliper, which is great to test you a bunch of different guns. And let's be honest, guys, 90 to 95% of all the handgun manufacturers out there, they manufacture a fantastic gun. Um, as long as you take care of it, you train with this, stuff, you're going to have no issue. But don't go buy when someone says you have to buy a Glock or you have to buy a SIG. It may not fit you. You may not feel comfortable with it. And that's okay if you don't. Find something that you are very, very comfortable with that way you know if you have to grab it, you know you can put rounds down range accurately and defend you, your family, your loved ones, your friends, whatever the case might be. Because in a life or death situation, it will not matter the brand name on the handgun. What matters is you're walking away alive and from dealing with a very, very bad situation. Now, if you want to collect guns, I get it. Like my 1911 right here, once I get more comfortable with it, I'll carry more when I go out shooting, like out on the farm or whatnot, um, hunting and stuff like that. But like, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, the most comfortable I'm, gun I'm, I'm really comfortable with is my 320. I can shoot this and drive nails all day long with this handgun. Um, my 365 I'm comfortable with, but like I said, I don't shoot it that often because it's a micro carry. It overheats really quickly and throws off your shot. But anyways, you just need to find something that fits you. And that's my recommendation from this video, guys. Make sure when it comes to a self-defense pistol, once you grab middle of the night when you hear a thump, the ones you're out in public and seal carry, that you know you're comfortable with it because in that life or death situation, when your adrenaline's freaking sky high, you need to be able to make sure you can shoot it and shoot it well. Now, granted, guys, make sure you train. Go to the range constantly. I know ammo's not cheap. Find deals where you can, but make sure you go out and train. But, guys, don't fall in the trap of these online gurus saying you have to buy this handgun, you have to buy that handgun, you have to do this, that, and the other. Everybody's hands are different. Everyone likes something different. So make sure you go out and find what you like and what you feel comfortable with, and you'll have a very pleasant, enjoyable experience. Make sure you find a caliper you can control. I control 9mm, no problem. I'm, I can control 45, but not on the same level as I can control 9mm. My girlfriend likes 380. She can control that really well. Um, I, I don't recommend glowing lower than 380 because you need that stopping power. But if all you can control is a 22, then buy yourself a 22 pistol. It's better than nothing. But anyways, guys, I hope this video shed some light on a lot of stuff. Like I said, a lot of these big gun gurus, and not all of them do, but some of them do, they get sponsored by these companies to push their handgun. You got to realize that and there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, you got to be aware, basically, like, you got to be aware of bias. So 
Make sure you go out, shoot a bunch of different types of guns, uh, handguns, and calipers. See what you like and don't like, and go from there. But other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the TW After Hours community. Um, I really appreciate you all for the new recent support of the channel revive. Make sure you share this video, guys. Make sure you share my gun content videos because it's hard enough pushing this content out without being demonetized and or suppressed and you know blackmailed or blackballed on the on YouTube and social media. Share this stuff, guys. Especially my last video. If you haven't checked that out, I talk about my gun history and my Second Amendment history of my life. But anyways. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Hope y'all have a great day. Never give up on your dreams and always do what you love.